Now we have just a few examples of some symptoms someone might experience if they have a sinusitis. So can you talk to us about these, Dr. Pernas, the pain areas as we were just mentioning in the face? Right, so people come to me and say, look, I feel pressure in my head and the front mm -hmm. of my forehead and my mid face. Uh, I feel um, sometimes in the back of the head, or they'll not not typical in the back of the head, but they can feel pain in any part of, of, of you know the mid face and the forehead. They can feel right. pain and pressure. That's sort of like your first indicator. That's an indicator for sure. Okay, and then we move to the uh, nasal symptoms. Correct. So usually when people have a sinus infection, they have watery nose. They have drainage. Either it's yellow or it's green with an infection. Mm -hmm. um, the sense of smell is disturbed. Um, uh, and, uh, and, and they have itchiness, that's more of a consequence of an allergy, okay. but it can also play a role in a sinus infection as well. Now, can you have a sinusitis without any nasal symptoms or do they go hand in hand? You can, so you can have a, a fungal sinus infection, which okay. is just in one sinus, and all you feel is pressure in that one sinus without any of the allergy symptoms. That is possible. Okay, and on the last one we have, the uh, last two, I'm so sorry, whole body and facial symptoms. Can you talk about those? We tend to really think about um, whole body symptoms as more of a viral etiology because if it's affecting, if you have muscle weight, uh, pain or fatigue, it tends to be more of a, a viral issue, although we can have some fatigue with chronic mm -hmm. sinusitis. Um, but, uh, uh, and the last one was... The facial. The oh, facial. So you have like tenderness facial or swelling? Facial tenderness, okay. correct. Sometimes even your eye can be tender if it's really, really severe. Right. Um, I mean, sometimes these things can get out of control. It goes into your into your brain as well. So, you know, very rarely, of course, fortunately, but, you know, infections can really kind of propagate through the small cavities of our sinuses and, and go to other areas where mm -hmm. we don't want them to be.